right, right. Hey baddies, what's up? It's your favorite baddie on a budget, Diamond K. Welcome back to my channel, cutie. And if you're new here, get comfortable, sis. You're gonna love it here, baddie on a budget safe haven. But we're gonna skip a lot today. Today, I'm about to try nair on my legs. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I already did this once. I did this once already and the results were fantastic. So I vowed to make sure I made a video on it as soon as my leg hair grew right back out. And here we are. So as long as this second time goes well, guys, I'm about to be a nair Believer, okay, never shaving my legs again, but we'll see. We will see, okay. So I'm gonna show you guys how I used Nair to get perfectly smooth legs, guys. It felt like heaven for more than one day. It was like three days of super duper smoothness, and I just really hope it works out again because if it does, guys, life has changed. No more shaving your legs for that stubble to come back in in 28 minutes. I'm not doing that ever again. Okay, so before we get into it, just make sure you're careful, do your research, and if you have sensitive skin, especially do your research because Nair people have made multiple accounts of having chemical burns did not happen to me last time we'll see definitely be careful it's not something to play around with follow the instructions carefully i would look it up find some information on reddit or whatever mm, i'm gonna stop talking i know you guys want to sit in there i want to sit in there so let's get right into that let's get into this let's get in Right before we really delve into this video, here's the Nair I'm using, guys. I got this at my local Target. It's Nair Sensitive Formula Shower Power with 100% natural coconut oil. So this one works while you shower, but I'm doing it outside the shower anyway just because it's easier to be focused and everything just to do it right. It says for legs and body. It's got 100% natural coconut oil plus vitamin E, dermatologist tested, dye-free, paraben-free. Smooth skin for up to six days. And I do feel like, sorry about that, I do feel like it has lasted pretty long, honestly. Let's see. So my leg here really, this is not substantial at all. Let me show you. Hang on. Hang on a second. Guys, this has been, um, it's been a minute. I can't remember how long ago it was, but it's been at least a week, I think. And I have chicken skin, keratosis pilaris, so please don't judge my legs. Um, I already went through that whole phase where I hated them when I was 14, so, um, you guys don't have to send me into another phase of that. Just kidding. Nobody can make me hate myself. I'm too grown for that now. I know my worth, honey. Yeah, so here's the stuff again. And one more heads up. Stinks. It stinks so bad. This is my third time using Nair in my life and guys the smell is stinky and it smells like rubber kind of like burnt rubber even my boyfriend was like what is that smell the smell kind of like lingers I'll tell you that but I do think it's worth it because it was so easy to use so it's my third time in my life using it I used it about a week and a half ago a week ago so I used it um in high school one time and that stuff it really stank that time that time it stank but I don't think that was the same kind so I'm gonna do this in my room because I just think it would be slightly easier to do this in my room than the bathroom the lighting is better as well and I want you guys to have a beautiful experience you know what I'm saying <laughs> so yeah here's my leg it's my leg right there you see it this is yours truly's leg and I'm just trying to get the quality to be a bit better because you really can't see the hair on me right now it's definitely there though so I hope you can see it my skin is also dry I just woke up kind of I don't have time to shower or anything I'm showering after this so I'm gonna just slather it on last time I did one leg at a time if I were you definitely do a patch test first and then I would still do one leg at a time your first time until you become really comfortable with it I will probably also do one leg this time because I'm filming and I just don't want to burn my leg off because guys you can really burn yourself with this stuff a chemical burns that's not cute but yeah I'm just gonna dispense it on my leg guys and it says to oh it already stinks <laughs> do not exceed 10 minutes um apply clean outside of shower skin must be dry before application unplug pump turn counterclockwise dispense do not rub in oh oops I was rubbing in oh gosh what happens guys what happens to me now cream into palm of hand apply even thick layer to cup of hair do not rub in repeat into the eye area it's covered wait at least one minute before showering so the first time I did it I didn't wait long enough guys and didn't really do much, so I had to do it again. So I'm gonna wait five minutes, and then I'm gonna take it off. Here we go. And also, if I do one week at a time with the video, you guys have a great side by side. <laughs> planning ahead so here we go yes and now my hands are covered in there don't want chemical burns I'm gonna go wash my hands how do I get out of the room though I did not I did not think this one through um I what happened to me now where's the I don't know how to get out of the room oh god guys I'm gonna just get here on the door handle oh! oh guys guys I'm trapped in the room how do I get out of the room though oh, okay okay Okay, guys, so I've washed. 
my hands now out of the nair, the whole nair thing. I washed it off. Let me get it off the door handle. I don't know what happens. I don't know what happens if the door handle gets chemical burns and I did not set the alarm. I figured I would just take it off at, it's 106 right now. I was gonna take it off at 109. Um, so let me just clean the door handle in the meantime, yeah. Sounds like a good idea to me. And um, a part of it, I did my research on Reddit before I used this stuff. A lot of people were saying that they couldn't get it off at the end because they found out that they needed a washcloth to give that extra boost to get the hair off. So I'm gonna be using this exfoliating rag. This is from Dollar Tree, courtesy of Betty on a budget freaking safe haven. Again, that's one of my favorite places. Dollar Tree is bomb. But yeah, so you can get these for a dollar at your local Dollar Tree. You can get them online, so cheap. They're just freaking great. They're really great. So I'm gonna go wet the rag and get ready to wipe this bad boy off. It's about time for it to come off. It's been on for a second. And like I said, the first time you do it, it is better to take it off early than late. You do not want a chemical burn, sis. You really don't. Okay, baddies, now it's time to take this stuff off. Um, and I'm just gonna use my rag and just wipe. Wipe, wipe, wipe. I'm about to get demonetized. The verdict is in. I did not think this one through. Okay, baddies, now it's time to take this stuff off. Um, and I'm just gonna use my rag and just wipe. What? I'm about to get demonetized. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Um, is it coming off? I can't tell. I feel like it needed more time. I think it needed more time. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this stuff off thoroughly though. And get any hair off that can come off anyway. And I'm gonna just do it again, but I'm not gonna leave it on as long because the hair has already been exposed to Nair. So I'll probably leave it on for three minutes. This is what happened to me last time as well. So it's not a big deal. Like I said, it's still so much better than a chemical burn, sister. It's so much better than a chemical burn. Oh my gosh, hairless. Hairless, hairless, quite hairless, quite hairless, literally hairless on this leg. Do you see this? Oh, that is not good. I want to get all that stuff off of me ASAP. For the sake of the video, guys, I might have to get a burn, but you know what? I love you, so that's why I'm doing it. I want to make sure you guys get the best quality of this video that I could give you at this time. This was really last minute, um, so yeah, I just decided I was like, I need to nail today. You see this result? You see the result? I'm hairless. And the best way to tell is by like this. Looking at the horizon of my leg, it's seeing that you don't see any hair sticking up at all. I don't see any hair. That's crazy. This is so much better even than last time. Guys, smoother than a baby's bottom. Oh my gosh. Smoother than a baby's freaking bottom. Smoother than that. Quite smooth. I'm so overjoyed. Um, can you tell? It feels so good. It was so effortless. All I had to do was sit there and wipe it off. And literally, just the fact that it happens so quick, guys, and also everything that touches your leg feels like heaven. Feels like heaven. This feels like heaven. And that, that feeling lasts longer than it does with shaving, too. So I am absolutely overjoyed and ecstatic. And once again, here's unnared leg, and here's neared leg. So I really hope this video was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, <laughs> don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. That's my favorite way that you can say thank you. That's the best way to say thank you for me if I was helping you. This is subscribe and support my channel so I can continue to help you guys. So I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Okay, my love. So the verdict is in. I am going to give Nair the Petty on a Budget seal of approval because I'm very satisfied. But also... This is gonna be different for everyone. So make sure you do a patch test, the bare minimum. Test it on an area that you um, don't really care if you got a chemical burn, I guess. And just see, make sure your skin can um, handle it because I would be really sad if anybody got a chemical burn after watching this video. So please be careful. Do your research and everything. Be safe, be responsible. But for me, this stuff is fantastic. And also I would highly suggest a specific type as it works, but it never ever burned me. I never felt uncomfortable. I never felt, even felt tingling. Never felt anything bad. It just felt like stinky lotion on my leg. I I definitely approve of this Nair and this like once again is the sensitive formula shower power with 100% coconut oil and also vitamin B E vitamin E so yeah guys if you like this video and I just convinced you to go check out Nair I would definitely suggest that specific kind because they have multiple different kinds but I don't really know about the rest also like every single type is going to be different and every brand is going to be different I'm not going to go and put my seal approver on Veet or anything because I haven't tried Veet Personally, I'm only approving this specific nail. That's all I've tried. That's all I can speak on. But hopefully this video helps people and hopefully this helps you save some time in your shower routine and your shaving routine. And I think I used it on my arms last time too. I did actually. And my arms don't grow back very quickly. But they come out, they came out really nice, guys. It just feels amazing. So I highly suggest it. I have to finish nailing my other leg and possibly my arms. But I love you all so much. Make sure you check out the rest of my videos if you enjoyed this one. And I will see you soon, okay? Bye.